The Digital Marketing Center from Microsoft is a brand new tool that is currently in beta. This free tool will help advertisers manage not only Microsoft ads, but also Google, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter ads all within one channel with the help of AI. How effective is this channel? I don't know. I haven't even tried it yet. So let's jump in and see what it could do. I am at the main homepage for the Digital Marketing Center. And to find this page, just go to the URL that I have showing up on the screen right now. I'm also going to include it in the video description so you can go down and check it out later if you want to. I'm going to log into this center for the first time. I have no idea what the platform looks like, so we can get the introduction together. So let's go to Get Started, and then I'm going to click on Sign Up Now. In my situation, I was already logged into my Microsoft account. You may have to go through that extra step to get to this page, but then we see a question. Microsoft is trying to get an idea of what you want to do with your advertising. So the first option is just to help me advertise. And it says only pay for ad spend on ad platforms. The option that's already checked for me says I only want to advertise on search only. And this includes both Microsoft and Google ads. I can go over and say, no, I want to advertise on both social and search. And there we see Facebook and Instagram are added to the mix too. If I uncheck this option, we can see that the help me manage my social media for free option is checked. But then the accounts are different. And we see we can link and manage Facebook, Twitter and Instagram, and Twitter was not an option in that first column. I wanna go back and choose this first option and make sure I'm including both the search and the social, hoping that gives me more to showcase in this demo. Don't want the email junk, and then let's go to next. Now we can connect up to 10 social profiles. So let's go through each of these options. All right, through the magic of editing, I went and connected my accounts, so you didn't have to see that. But what happened is when I clicked each one, it opened up the login portal for each of these social media channels. All I had to do was just type in my login information, give Microsoft permission to access these accounts, and that's how easy it was for me to get connected with these three. There's more I could add, but I'm good with those for now, so now I'm gonna click next. And here we can connect our Facebook ads accounts. So again, more account linking. And here's one major issue that I ran into in trying to connect a Facebook ads account is that this Facebook ads account has a different time zone within the account settings than Digital Marketing Center. So if these time zones don't match, you can't connect the account. I even went into my Microsoft account and changed the time zone to match up with Facebook and that's still not working. If you go and click this link, to change the time zone in Facebook, we see this message. If I change the time zone within Facebook for this ad account, pretty much the old account is shut down and my ad stopped running and I have to start brand new. And there's no way in hell I'm gonna do that. So already we see one glitch with this center. And since I'm not gonna do that, I'm gonna cancel that out. And unfortunately, I'm just gonna proceed without connecting my Facebook ads account. Next, you can select your goal. If you want more visits to your site, you want more calls or more visits to an actual location, pretty straightforward. We can type in our website, just pasted that one in here. Next, we can select our business category and we can see if we want to choose more than one, depending if that's applicable. Next, we can see which locations we wanna target. And the location targeting options are gonna be very similar if you're running any search campaigns on either Google or Microsoft. We can target specific regions or you can go down to even specific zip codes or even coordinate levels. Now I'm just going to keep it higher level, just target the US and then we can go on. Next step, they're going to have us create some text ads. They already have our URL in place because we just entered that. But then really quick, I can fill out the rest of this text ad so we can keep going. Would this actually be a type of ad I create? No, it's really not that good, but it's done. So that's the important part. Now we can keep going. There's a daily budget, pretty straightforward. You can change it. I purposely wanted to put in $1 so you can see the range has to be between five and $500. And there we get our estimated budget, but just to make Microsoft happy, gotta put something in. Now we can continue setting up our account. Oh, we'll look right here. I have everything else blurred out, but after we try to connect our Facebook ads account, now they ask for the time zone for this digital marketing center. Kind of a messed up order, but now I'm gonna see if these match and maybe I can go back and add the Facebook ads account. We'll get to that one later. I'm not gonna show you any of this, but I have all my billing information filled out. This is a mandatory step just to even get into the Digital Marketing Center and see what it can do. So if you're hoping to just play around for free, nope, you gotta have a card attached to it. Okay, after your billing information is all in, you are sent back to the homepage. But I went back up, you can see right over here, I clicked on the social tab. I did go back in and add the Facebook ads account. It was very easy now that our time zones matched up. But let's see what the homepage looks like. Right now we just see a dashboard. Initially I see I have 46 new messages. If I go to the inbox, yeah, I was recently talking to Aaron. So hi Aaron, 
you get a guest spot in today's video. I'm not going to show you what we were talking about though. But I had my personal Twitter account linked as well as the Paid Media Pros channels for Facebook and Instagram. If I just want to see specific messages in my inbox for each specific channel, I can all do that now within one spot. That's kind of cool. I can also look at scheduling posts. I can create a new post, add it to a specific profile. Down below, I could save it as a draft, schedule it for a specific time. So think of this as like a kind of like a hoot suite. If you don't want to use any of the built-in scheduling tools, like some of the channels like Twitter offer, you can do it all within one spot now with Digital Marketing Center. And there you can see your whole content calendar for which channel, ones that are currently coming up, ones that have already published, drafts that you save. So if you're managing both the paid and organic part of social, this could actually save you a lot of time. And I really don't have anything to show because we haven't launched anything yet, but some overall dashboards to see how your organic and paid performance is doing. Again, it's going to be with the accounts that you have connected and then performance is going to be broken out by channel. And there you'll be able to segment or review that data by just a few different metrics. Now I shot back up to the ad section because I think this is going to be the most important part and probably why most of you on this channel watching this video came to check it out. Now in the ad section, here we get it broken out by search advertisements, social ads, we see it broken down. We have Facebook and Instagram down below here. I can look at creating a new campaign, choose the goal. Then I can choose where I want to advertise, search only or everywhere. Going through adding my website again. Now, instead of that initial account setup that they made me do in the beginning, which really focused just on search, here's where we see our connected Facebook profiles. So we have the paid media pros one already there. I'm going to keep it at the country level again. And here we see something different. We already looked through a text ad, so I'm not going to go and create a new one. If I want to, I could duplicate an ad that you were already creating. So there we see, if I can shrink this down, we can just keep adding ads if we want to for this specific campaign. But over to the left, we see other options. So when I clicked next, we get away from the text ad portion and now we're creating image ads. They have picked some very basic images right off the bat, but we do have the option to edit these ads. So if I want a different image, I can just browse for a new one. See, that one's a lot better. And after I saved it, it's down below. Let's edit one more. Yeah, this one I updated the title, change the image again. Please ignore the rest of the ad copy. These aren't supposed to be serious ads here. And now I have a couple image ads. And you can see how these are pretty basic, don't give you a ton of features. As I pulled open a new ad, you do have the option to look at previously used images if you've done in the past like I just created. But I wanted to see if I can select both at the same time to possibly create anything like a carousel ad or something that's more engaging and you don't have that option. It's pretty straightforward. It's a single image ad. So I can cancel out of this one. If we click next. So multiple images like a carousel isn't an option, but then you can also have a video ad which might be more appealing to your audience chose one video. It's actually fairly short. It's just the outro that we use to our YouTube videos. There you see where the actual description or your primary text is going to be. And then there's the ad title or your main ad headline, whatever you want to call it. Going to the final step yet again, they want our budget. Now look at this one. Purposely did this as well. When I was going through the setup, and I couldn't add my social campaigns to it to do any social advertising, I was only technically running on search. The minimum daily budget was only $5. Now that I have search and social to the mix, the minimum daily budget is $10. If I submit this campaign, I'm still in the main ads portion of Digital Marketing Center, and there we see the campaigns broken out to the side. I went in and changed the name so we see the difference. That search ads only one, the one that I initially created just to get the account up and running, and then this new social ads campaign that we just finished creating. Once your ads are running, there's some of the main elements that you'll be able to see, just really basic KPIs, nothing too specific. But the campaign details, that's where you can change anything on the main website that you want to use, your categories. Right here, I can pause the campaigns if I want to, change your budgets. Next to the left, we see an ads portion, and this one's pretty interesting. I'm on the social one, so eventually I'll be able to see. There's the text ads we created, there's the image ads we created, video ads, and we'll be able to see top performing ones. But look at this section right here. In addition to the ads that you create, the Digital Marketing Center's AI is building text ads for you based on all the information that we created when we were first setting up the campaign. And if I click on the Learn More button, we get some more information. They're gonna run both the ads that you create plus their automated text ads at the same time. And then the ads that are performing better are eventually gonna be shown more often, so we don't have total control when we use this. Depending on what your goals are by using the Digital Marketing Center, that could be helpful. If you don't have a lot of time, really small business, trying to tackle efficiency and do multiple things at once. But if you like total control, this may not be the best option for you. Next, we see customer action tracking. So let's click on this. 
Most likely when you're running ads, you want to have some sort of conversion tracking to understand the value of your ads. Are users performing the end goal that you want that user to take? So this goal conversion tracking setup looks different than what we're used to within Microsoft ads. At first we see some very basic pages that we want to track. So I'm just making up something here. Let's say the confirmation URL for your contact us form sends users to this thank you page where the URL contains slash thank you we can save that as a goal. I can edit this one if that ever changes, or I can go and add however many URL based goals that we want to. But to get this to work, we need to add the tracking to our site. You can add the tracking tag directly through the CMS. You can try to add the code yourself, or you can get the code to send to whoever manages the website that they can put it on for you. So I can just copy this tag. We see it's copied right there. And then let's hop into tag manager and it'll be really easy to install. I already went in and created a new tag type and I chose custom HTML. I pasted the tag that we just copied from the Digital Marketing Center page and then I added the trigger of all pages. That's gonna cover me if I ever add any sort of other URL based conversion tracking. My tag will already be on that page and I know my goal will hopefully start working if I set up that goal correctly. So then just make sure you save the tag, publish it, or if you're installing the tag any other way, just confirm that it's on there and working properly. But I know what I'm doing with Tag Manager, so I know it's gonna be on there. So I can click Done. And then we see the Customer Action Tracking section has been updated. This is pretty much gonna show us the amount of conversions that you have, your conversion rate, and assisted conversions from those actions. So be cautious on how you're setting up these actions because it really looks like they're pushing just overall page visit type goals, and that's fine but make sure that they're page visit goals that are actually worthwhile, not just any visit to your website. Are they viewing key pages? Are they landing on confirmation pages that are actually gonna help drive business? And there's our confirmation of the location targeting. Right now I'm really not seeing the option that they would give us any metrics based on this location targeting so that we can see and edit it, but there it is. And then for the search portion of these campaigns, we'll be able to see some data on which search terms we're triggering our ads from the Digital Marketing Center. Now, one question that popped up in my head immediately before I even did this video was, okay, we're linking to our Facebook ads channel. We're creating new campaigns. Can I see those campaigns in Facebook ads? Well, let's hop in and find out. Now, this is just a staging account that we created for the sake of doing all the videos that we do. So we do see a few other options that are in draft, but the third option down, I already have it checked, is in review. And I definitely do not make campaigns with that sort of weird, long naming convention. So if I click on the campaign option, I get an ad set name that is all over the place. Makes no sense to me. And there are the three ads that we created within the Microsoft Digital Marketing Center. So yes, you will be able to go into Facebook ads and see these campaigns. If I head to the ad set level and click edit, it appears I have the option to still edit this campaign within the Facebook ads interface. So United States was a targeting option that I could choose within Microsoft, so that's consistent. My campaign objective is traffic, because that was the initial goal that I had set up within the Digital Marketing Center. But the only other two goal options within that platform is phone calls or store visits. So I'd be curious to anyone out there who potentially may set up these campaigns to drive store visits, will that change that goal to match that within Facebook too? Scrolling back down again, we see genders, detailed targeting, and languages has not been updated because those weren't targeting options that we could set within the Digital Marketing Center. And Facebook did let me save my updates. I had no errors doing it. It appears that it's still just in review, making sure that I can run it. Let's see how these ads look. This is the video ad. I'm gonna leave that one as it is. And let's see if I could switch this from a single image to the carousel, because we couldn't create any carousel ads within the Digital Marketing Center. There's one image there. It looks like the Bing URL is already in the mix. Let me just add one more card. Okay, I have my two saved. I'm gonna publish this. Facebook let me save it. But now I realize I needed to add Instagram, so I updated that one. Let's publish again. I updated that one and let's publish it again. And still no issues. So let's check out Microsoft Digital Marketing Center. And it looks like the edits I made in Facebook aren't reflected in Digital Marketing Center. This is still new. I don't know if it's eventually gonna cause any issues or if there's any delays of how my changes in Facebook may or may not show up within the Digital Marketing Center, but that's something you may wanna consider. Overall, that's pretty much all you can do with the Digital Marketing Center. Personally, I would strongly recommend creating your own campaigns within each of the channels separately. We clearly see we can get much more specific with how we can advertise, market, the creative that we can make all within each of the channels separately. We don't get all the targeting options available for each of those channels 
all within the Digital Marketing Center. I can see the benefits if you are a small business, you're trying to do everything at once just to get something off the ground, this could be a good start. Honestly, my favorite parts were more of the overall dashboard and the organic parts of it, where I can keep track of all my messages and schedule my posts all within the main one. Would I necessarily use this for advertising? Personally, no. But I do see how it can be valuable for certain accounts out there that are trying to get some quick efficiencies and maybe launch some quick campaigns. We'll keep an eye out on this, and if we see any new features that are worth talking about, we'll potentially dive back in, create another video, and see what this tool can do. Once again, if you want to check it out, the link to the Digital Marketing Center is in the video description below. Maybe you can go in and play around with it yourself and you find any other cool features that we didn't talk about in this video, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching our video. If you found it useful, give us a thumbs up below. We release a new video at least once a week, so if you want to see more from the Paid Media Pros channel, be sure to subscribe.